What's going on, man? It's bad party, people. Let's get to it. First things first, always read the question every single time. Read the question first. So the question starts right here. How tall is the second box? Now, of course, if you see the word if, remember that that's going to be basically related information that you're going to need to pay attention to. But the question itself always starts with who, what, when, where, why, how, how many, which of the following. That's what it always starts with, those action words. So with that said, ooh yeah, how tall is the second box? Sounds good. So when we think about how tall something is, I think it's pretty fair to say that we're looking at the height, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that off. We want the height of the second box. Sounds good right there. Height of the second box equals what? That's what we wanna know. Now what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna go ahead and scan the information and understand what is related to the height of that second box. Because when I see the word box, it's possible that we're talking about a rectangular prism um, or a prism where, again, it could be talking about the volume, the surface area, maybe the area of one of the sides. I don't know. But like, it's possible that we could be talking about geometry here, which we are. So with that said, it says if the second box is 10 units long and four units wide, how long is it or how tall is it? Excuse me. Okay, so with that said, then I'm looking at that and I'm saying, all right, cool. They kind of give us some good information here. They tell us that right here, second box, 10 units long, four units wide. So that tells me that the length of the second box equals four and the width equals, or excuse me, the length equals 10 and the width equals four. So from there, what do we do? Well, now we're gonna go through the problem here and again, understand what information we're given. What's related to the second box? What can I use? What's going on? And here is your regularly scheduled announcement, my party people. Remember guys, I host a free class every single week and more classes beyond that. So make sure to check the group tutoring schedule so you know when the classes are, when you can expect to see me live so you can raise your score and get that job you want. So click there to see the schedule and let's keep getting back to the YouTube video right over here. So here we go. A square box, so a rectangular box with a square base has sides measuring eight units and five units tall. All right, sounds good. A second rectangular box has double the volume of the square box. So right there, a second rectangular box, it's double the volume of the square box. So this second box that we're talking about, I need to write that down. Second box's volume equals double, so twice, two times the first box volume. First box's volume. And so, of course, you know, as you're doing the test itself, you don't want to write everything down, but you want to kind of log that information in your head and you want to say, okay, cool, that's important, that's important, do your thing. So now that we're here, notice how I skipped the eight and the five until now. I skipped that because it wasn't really necessary for the problem until I knew what the first box had to do with the second box. So now that I know that the first box um, is uh, basically half the volume of the second box or the second is double the first, now that I know that, now I know that this is important information. But now there's probably a question that you have right now. Anderson, what's a square box? Well, a square box is literally a box that has the top and the bottom, they're squares. That's it. That's it. So it'll look something like this. So it says, again, a square base here. Square base. So the sides are eight units. So what that tells me is that, again, we're going to have something along these lines. Hoping that, there we go, worked itself out nice and easy. So the top and the bottom are gonna be squares. And then it says it's only five units tall. So it's gonna be a little shorter here, but that's okay. And so boom, right there, there, here, and here. So again, the sides are all gonna be eight, but it's gonna be five units tall. That's what that means. All that means again is that the length and the width are basically gonna be eight and the height is five. And so, can we find the volume of this box? Yeah, we can. But why is it important to find the volume? The reason that it's important is because if I have the volume of the first box, I can double it to get the volume of the second. If I have the volume of the second box, well guess what? I have the length, the width, and I can solve for the height. Right there. So that's the goal here. We're gonna go ahead and find the volume of the first box, Double it to get the volume of the second. 
and then apply that to the formula for the second box and do our thing. This is going to be pretty straightforward because the volume of the first box is going to be equal to the length times the width times the height. 8 times 8 times 5. And so from there, we'll go ahead and solve this. 8 times 8 is going to be 64. 64 times 5, what's that going to give us? That's going to be 320. So I know that because multiplying by 5 is the same thing as multiplying by 10, then cutting it in half. Half of 10 is 5. So times 10, cut in half. Boom. So there we go. There's the second box, or there's the first box. We know that the second box is double that. So what I know about the volume of the second is going to be equal to double 320. Double 320, that's going to give us 640. So that's the volume of the second box. I'm going to use green for that. 640, that's the volume of the second box. Now, what did we know again? Remember, we knew that the length and the width are 10 and 4. We don't know the height, but we do know that the volume is going to be equal to length times width times height. And so we'll write that out. We have 640 for the volume. We have 10 for the length. We have four for the width. We just don't know what the height is. We just don't know. Remember my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free, so go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. So all we have to do at this point, really all we have to do is go ahead, simplify here, divide both sides, we're set. So allow me to give myself a little more room or I'll just zoom on in apparently, it's all good. And so here, 10 times four, that's gonna give us 40. So now we have 40H and the last thing we need to do is divide both sides by that 40 or set. So divide both sides by 40. So we see here that that's gonna cancel out completely. These zeros cancel, so what's 64 divided by four? If you need help with that, you can divide by two, then divide by two again. So 64 divided by two is 32. Divide by 2 again is 16. Or you can do long division, you'll still get 16. And so the height right over here equals 16 units. In this case, it would be 16, uh, yeah, just 16 units. Right there. Booyah. And that is how you tackle this challenge question. The answer will be C, 16 units. I hope this makes sense, my party people. Again, if you have any questions at all about how to raise your score, how to work this problem out, I got your back. So go ahead and shoot me a text at 567. 698-8867 if you want to learn more about raising your score with the ASVAB. So I'll see you in the next video, my party people. Let's ace the ASVAB. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.